the Bugatti Chiron. This is one of the best looking cars out there. I love it, but not because of the top speed. I love it because of the engineering that went into this car. Now, this particular Chiron is actually a little more special. You see, it's not gray in color because of a paint. It's gray because uh, of the material that it's been made. There's no paint on this car. It's all bare carbon fiber. So carbon fiber is, of course, a very rare and expensive material that's, that you'll find on supercars and hypercars. But of course, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a raw material. It doesn't have any design to it. So all the design that you see here, the checked pattern here, that has been given to it in each and every check has been, you know, given to the panel. So it's a very time consuming and a very difficult process. Of course, uh, you have to be very careful with uh, panels like this uh, because the lines on the left hand side should match the lines on the right hand side. Otherwise, it will be a defected piece. So you cannot, you know, risk losing panels or, or wasting mat material like that. So yes, uh, if you look, compare it with a regular car uh, let's, or any other supercar, let's say there are some Ferraris here, they have paint on them, but certain parts in certain cars are exposed carbon fiber. For example, let me just show you. So if I come to the engine bay of this Ferrari 488 Pista, you can see that certain parts are of course having the same check pattern. Uh, some check patterns are you know they can vary they can be lighter or darker or you know have a bigger pattern or smaller pattern depending on you know how you want to make your material so yes you know carbon fiber materials are very very expensive they're used in planes as well because of how light they are and how strong they are so yes this is a very special bugatti chiron it's one of the first ones that i've seen in a bear carbon fiber and it looks absolutely amazing now you'll see that it also has a you know silver trim you can see the blades on the air intakes and uh, uh, there's a line here on the pillar as well it starts from here and goes all the way around the window and uh, comes down the air intake so if we come to the back yes you can see on the shoulder that yes uh, the pattern is still going on and it looks amazing so the, the Chiron's rear end is very very impressive uh, it looks amazing especially at the tail light i love it so what's here basically here you'll find uh, a secret in fact and that secret is that this car has a massive rear wing spoiler right now it's lowered it's hidden inside the body but of course when the uh, when needed it rises up automatically as you can see the body is very very aerodynamic so aerodynamics are a very big part of this car and let's have a look at how the aerodynamics help the car basically the car also has an all-wheel drive system for maximum grip so if you look at the front end you know you can see the big air intakes uh, in the grill in the bumper and also in the headlights the headlights also have an air intake uh, there just to take in as much air as possible Plus, of course, you have air intakes here on the sides of the body that you know channel air directly to the engine to keep it cool. So all that air that the car eats up basically comes out uh, from around the tail lights, and this is it. This is the rear wing spoiler that I was talking about. You can see its edge; it goes all the way from one end to the other end of the car. It's massive. The uh, the previous model, the Veyron, had a very small wing in comparison to the Chiron. And here, around the taillights, you can see you have a large grill. So that's, of course, to let out the heat from the engine. And speaking of the engine, this car has a magnificent engine. It's a 8-liter uh, W16 engine with four turbochargers. So that's why it makes 1,500 horsepower. So all that power allows the car to, you know, shoot up and reach over 420 kilometers per hour easily around 260 miles or some, something like that per hour so if you compare it with of course cars like uh, this uh, ferrari 488 pista which is also amazing this is a supercar uh, in comparison to the bugatti chiron which is a hyper car because it's designed for extreme performance and just have a look at that rear end it is so sleek and so beautiful so this is why I love the Chiron so much. I mean, it can do so many things and it is also very, very beautiful. So if you compare it with all the cars out there, um, this is faster. This is, uh, you know, much quicker than all of them. 0 to 60 time is 2.5 seconds. 
2.5 seconds that's as fast as a super bike uh, maybe a suzuki hayabusa or a bmw s1000 rr now let's have a look peek at the interior so the interior in this is a beige interior um, i don't know why they went with that color but still you can order your interior in any color you want it's customizable and uh, yeah it's a uh, as far as the interior is concerned they've really redesigned it from the previous generation it's much much more uh, streamlined much easier now you also have uh, some lcd screens which you did not have in the previous uh, wear on so the price of the chiron is starting from around um, 16 million dirhams so yeah this is it this is the interior i know there's a little bit of reflection from the lights but i hope i hope i could you know show you a better view wait the door is not locked okay all right so i'll show you the interior so this is it this is uh, from where you can control the chiron and this car has basically a light orangish beige color and uh, yeah it's quite spacious you also have this really nice ambience light that goes all the way of you know from uh, from the armrest all the way up to the top and this is the steering wheel you have a lot of buttons and knobs there as well and a little bit of carbon fiber the center console has just a few knobs and switches that's it of course this car is very very fast so of course the uh, bugatti want you to f keep your attention on the road so you have a mode here to select the drive mode uh, a knob to select the drive mode and some buttons here of course for the onboard computer the onboard computer is basically in the dashboard and you have the engine start stop button there and here you have the launch control button that's the lc if you want to you know go really fast at max uh, speeds of mark one or something i'm sure it goes that fast <laughs> anyway so yeah it is an amazing car to be in and since i'm here uh let me see if i can you know sneak inside okay here you have a small a space for you know placing something small like your phone or something so yeah it's a very luxurious place to be in um all the silver parts you see here i'm sure they're like aluminium or something and wow okay it feels really nice sitting in this car so if you want to see other videos of bugatti's just go to the video description and if you want to see videos of konisegs and other supercars and hypercars just have a look at my channel not all my videos are in english just read the title carefully to know which videos to watch